Hello everyone. So this is the question right now. Let's discuss what it what it is and what we need to do in this question. Uh, a cricket ball of mass one fifty gram. So first of all, let's write down m is equals to one fifty gram. And gram is not the SI unit we all know, so we need to convert it into kg. So let's divide it by thousand. One zero got cancelled out with the another, and the answer is zero point five kg. Now they are saying it is moving with a velocity of 12 meter per second. So this is actually the initial velocity. So let's write down u is equals to 12 meter per second. And it is hit by a bat. Try to consider, try to think that first of all, the ball is like this. Let me show you. This is actually the ball, right? This is a small ball. And initially it is being thrown by the baller. So in this way. So just. In the beginning, the ball is thrown like this. This is the initial velocity u, and you know that initial velocity u is how much? 12 meter per second, right? And right now here, the batsman is there on this side. The batsman is there, and it he simply uh, turned back the ball with a velocity of 20 meter per second. So this is actually the v, which is the final velocity, and it is 20 meter per second. I hope you have seen that the direction has been totally changed. Or you can simply say it is opposite. So we will not simply write V is equals to 20 meter per second. We will write minus 20 meter per second because you know that velocity is a vector quantity. So we need to consider the direction as well, right? The force of the blow act for 0.01 seconds. So basically what they have said, they said simply that the time period is 0.01 second. Uh, okay. Find the average force exerted by the bat on the ball. So basically, I would like to tell you that there are two ways to find out this average force exerted by the bat on the ball. Uh, I'll try to explain both the method and I'll try my best to do this question by both the method and you will need to choose which way you will feel comfortable. The first method is simply based on the uh, formula for F is equals to MA. The second method is based on the formula for the impulse, which is I is equals to, or impulse is equals to force into time. Okay. That force is called the average force. Okay. So let's do it. First of all, you can see that velocity is given, U is given, time period is given, and we can calculate the acceleration, right? Yes or no? Yes. So first of all, we know there is an equation in which V is given, U is given, T is given, and the acceleration is calculated. So this is the first equation of motion. V is equals to U plus AT. I hope you can recall this equation. Uh, v is given, U is given, T is given, and we need to find out the acceleration, okay? So you can see V minus U upon T is equals to A, right? So you can see V, key, v is minus 20, U is minus 12, T is how much? 0 0.01, okay? So A is minus 32, and this is 0 0.01. If I remove the point, there will be two zeros. So ultimately it is coming out to be 3200 meter per second square. So I hope you got it. This is the acceleration. And what we need to find out the average force. So F is equals to MA, you know the answer. So M is 0 0.15 and acceleration you have just calculated. That is minus 3200. If you don't want to include the minus sign, then it's okay. You can simply find out the magnitude also. So you can see this is mass, uh, one more thing. Yeah, that's it. If I remove this point, then there will be two zeros in the denominator. These two zero will cancel out with this one. The negative sign is there, 15, 2 ja kitna hota hai, 30 and 3 and uh, 15, 3 ja, 45. So 45 and 3 is 480. So this is the average force, okay, got it? So I hope you got. The answer, this is the average force. This is the first method of doing this question, but there is another second method also. The second method is simply based on the formula for the impulse. Let's do that formula also. Uh, just, I hope you got this. I need to erase this thing because uh, this is taking too much space and I'm running out of space, right? So let's erase this. Now, uh, we need to apply the formula for impulse. Impulse is equals to Impulse is equals to force into time. Got it? This is the formula. But the problem is we need to calculate this force. That is the average force. Time is given, but impulse is not given. Now, you need to remember there is something called impulse momentum theorem. You must have gone through this topic, right? So the, according to impulse momentum theorem, impulse is also written as 
m v minus u that is change in momentum right impulse is equals to force into time m v minus u right so what is force right now force is what you need to find out it is not given right so i'm going to write down force as it is time is 0 0.01 right this is m what is m m is called the mass of the ball it is already given here so it is 0 0.15 what is v the final velocity minus 20 minus what is u 12 it is already given so if you see force is simply is equals to 0 0.15 minus 32 upon 0 0.01 and you can see this two point will cancel out with this one so what we are getting 15 into 32 got it and this is actually the same calculation if you can recall 15 to the 30 0 carry 3 15 3 45 45 plus 3 48 so it is coming out to be forces minus 480 newton i hope you got it we are getting the same value by using both the methods so whichever way it is quite easy whichever way is easy to you you can do it by that particular method i'll recommend i'll recommend this method because here we need not to do it separately so the force is coming out to be the average force exerted by the bat on the ball is coming out to be uh, minus 480 newton i hope you got it if you got it then that's good if you don't get it please do let me know thank you very much